My name is Mr. Innocent Over Acting. My problem that, that brought me here is portrait and this catheter that cannot urinate frequently. The thing that affects me, I don't feel comfortable. Cannot go out for any activity. That is why my movement is restricted. Now that you are here, what do you believe that God will do for you? Well, I believe this is my boss job. It has been already been done that I am healed by the grace of God. So we also pray and believe it too that God will set you free from this problem today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Synagogue Church of All Nations. Mr. Innocent came back to show what the Lord has done for him. He can now urinate freely to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can urinate fine without the catheter. Thank you, Jesus. Once again. Yes, truly, with God, all things are possible. We bless God Almighty for what he has done in your life, and we want to hear from them concerning all that God Almighty has done for them. So you're welcome. And then, listen beside you and your testimony. The person beside me is my daughter. I want to thank God for what God has done to my life. All Saturday when I came, I was having portrait alignment. And as I came, I was arranged before the prayer line. And the evangelist now touches me. As he touched me, I now went back home to the hospital. And I told the doctor that this catheter should be removed from me. The doctor said, ah. The doctor now said, ah. Are you all right? I said, ah. I'm all right. He could not resist. He removed the character from me. And immediately he removed the character from me. Not quite long, I went to the toilet. I did very well. And that very period, the, the evangelist touched me. My body was very light. I feel like I'm healed. Okay. So, to God be the glory, we, we so much appreciate God Almighty for what he has done for you. What if, for the benefit of those who are watching you, can you please tell us how this problem started, how it affected you before you made your way down to the synagogue to the foundation? Uh, the problem started, I woke up one morning as I was going to eat myself. I, I started feeling the urinary was not coming out as usual. See what I'm experiencing. Oh. I said, see what I'm experiencing. I said, ah, now you are there alone. What will I do? If you come to Lagos, I came to, actually came to, now you are there alone. What will I do? If you come to Lagos, I came to, actually came to, as I went to hospital, the doctor examined me after I discovered that it was petrol uh, enlargement. He said the treatment. He fixed the character of petrol uh, enlargement. He said the treatment. He fixed the character on my organs. After two, two weeks, I will go and change it. You fix another one. And now what happened was that I said, after three times, if not four times, and I told the doctor, no, this catheter should be removed from me. I'm not feeling I'm okay. He said, I said, I'm okay. He and remove it. I said, remove it. If a people of God, I went back to the toilet. I did very well. I said, thank God. God, God has done it for me. I did very well. I said, thank God. God, God has done it for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Let us put our hands together for Jesus. Yes, we'll listen to the man. He 
came before he came to the synagogue to the foundation. He said he woke up one morning and he just discovered that he could no longer urinate just like the way he normally do. But and when he wants to urinate, the urinate the urination will come like few drops of water and it's always very, very painful. So the next morning he put a call through to his daughter to site here in Lagos. That the next morning he put a call through to his daughter to site here in Lagos. That this is what I'm experiencing. Then the daughter asked him to come down to Lagos so that they can go for further assessment at the hospital. And when he got to the hospital, they dis after further assessment, I mean, when they examined Baba, they discovered that Baba was having prostate enlargement. And because of this problem, Baba could not urinate very well. He was having difficulty in urinate, and it was always with pain. And so Baba was placed on medication, and the doctor said Baba was going to use this medication for the rest of his life. But then the medication was not further, it was not working, and also Baba, the doctor was also suggested that Baba should use Cardita. So now they, they will have to now go to the hospital every two, two weeks to change the Cardita for Baba. So this was not even helping the issue, although it was making the issue even more worse than the condition which Baba was in time past. So after everything, Baba came back to meet the daughter, and the daughter said, look, what the doctor said is not the final say because God Almighty has the final say. I know a place, the arena of liberty, that when you come here, your problems will be over. So the daughter further encouraged Baba that they should visit the synagogue of the foundation. And when they came to the glory of God, Baba was privileged to be at the prayer line. And when he received prayer, Baba said he felt light, that he just felt that he could do what he could not do before when he had this problem. And so that convinced Baba to go back to the hospital after some days and then told the doctor that, look, I no longer need this character any longer because God Almighty has stepped into my issue. And you know, when God Almighty comes into our life, it puts an end to our life of sickness, disease, and affliction and gives birth to a wonderful future, which is our life of sickness, disease, and affliction and gives birth to a wonderful future, which you can see Baba is live here as a living testimony to give thanks to God that truly indeed, never a sickness Jesus Christ cannot heal, never a disease he cannot cure, and never a problem he cannot solve. As you watch on your screen, you can see Baba was urinating freely without the use of the catheter to the glory of God. Once again, let us put our hands together beautifully for Jesus. So, Baba, going by your experience, the things that you went through where you were having this problem of difficulty in urinating, what would be your word of advice to those people listening to you now? My advice for everybody who is watching me here and outside, whenever you have such challenge, I said, don't go to anywhere. Go to church. Go to God. Especially the Senegal Church of Nigeria, of the whole world. You can do better than that. Let us put our hands together for Jesus. So, Baba is encouraging every one of us that when we have a problem, which we once had in time past, that we should not run from God, but run to God, because He is the answer to all fundamental issues of life. We thank God Almighty for your life, Baba. So, let us listen to... Madam, you're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Please tell us your name, the person beside you, and what can you say concerning what God Almighty has done for you and your family? People of God, Imam, Osim, the person next to me is my dad. I want to give glory and all thanks to God for healing my dad. In fact, the healing is for all of us because when all this started, I will see my dad. When I turn to look at him, he will be crying. I will tell him, Daddy, Dad, when I turn to look at him, he will be crying. I will tell him, Daddy, don't mind what the doctor said, though, that all is well. It's only God that has the final say. At first, when all this started, he called me and said, my daughter, I'm not feeling fine. I said, what is it? He said, it's not urinating freely. I said, too. So what are we going to do now? That you have to come over to Lagos, so since he's in Port Harcourt alone, Nobody is with him. So when he came, a few days later, he came to Lagos. And when he came, 
we had to visit the hospital. When we got to the hospital, they now the doctors examined him. Found out that he can he can only leave the hospital. When we got to the hospital, they now the doctors examined him. Found out that he can he can only use catheter to urinate. And they now said, and I asked the doctor, for how long is he going to use the catheter? He said, to, you have to use it for the rest of his life. Oh. I say, ha. How can a man that used to urinate on his own, and then you said he will urinate with the catheter for the rest of his life? And I told my dad, don't worry, let's go home. This is after they have given him medications. So we got home, we started taking the medications. He started taking the medications, but all proved abortive because at some point, he started urinating blood. I say, ha. This one is more than that. This was after he has used changed the catheter for like four times so, and also taking drugs. And I said, this one is more than what the doctors can do. We have to run to the arena of liberty. That that is where we'll get our healing completely. For all I know is that the doctors will only treat, or it's only God that heals. So afterwards, we came to church. And by God's grace, we were arranged in the prayer line. After the evangelist, and by God's grace, we were arranged in the prayer line. After the evangelist touched him, I now went to him and said, how are you feeling now? He said, I'm feeling very light. I feel free. I said, don't worry, God will perfect his healing in your life. So a few weeks later, we now went to back to the hospital. We told the doctor that we want to remove this catheter. The doctor said in their normal talk now, Madam, I'm warning you people, oh, you better don't remove this catheter. Let him use this catheter. I said, doctor, remove it. He's fine. So he now removed it. So when we got home now, my daddy went straight to the toilet and said he wants to go and urinate. When he got there, he now urinated freely without the catheter. Shall we put our hands together beautifully for Jesus? Put your hands together louder for the miracle working Jesus. So seeing your dad being able to do what he was not able to do before, like he was not able to urinate freely, but after the prayer, seeing him being able to urinate freely, being positioned back to the original way that God Almighty has created him. How does that make you feel as a daughter? In fact, I'm the happiest person because with my con looking yopi yopi. <laughs> Let us put our hands together beautifully for Jesus. So what is your advice to those listening to you for all over the world? My word of advice is when you have any challenge, any kind of challenge at all, don't run from God, rather run to him for he's the solution giver to all our challenges. Praise the Lord. Y acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio del señor Innocence que viene acompañado de su hija Mercy, eh, quien viene a testificar de las bondades de Dios en su vida. Él nos comenta que estaba sufriendo dificultad para orinar debido a un alargamiento de próstata. Él había buscado muchas soluciones en diferentes lugares. Finalmente fue llevado al hospital donde no encontraban solución para él, sino ponerle un catéter. Él ha estado usando este catéter debido a la dificultad para orinar y finalmente decidió buscar el rostro de Dios en las Coan. Cuando llegó a las Coan, como vemos en pantalla, el evangelista oró por él y obtuvo su sanidad al instante en el nombre de Jesucristo. Este catéter le ha sido removido, ya no necesita usar el catéter y ha sido completamente sanado. Asimismo, su hija Mercy testifica de la sanidad completa de su papá, quien ahora ya no experimenta más dificultad para orinar. Así que nos aconsejan que espectadores de todo el mundo, cualquiera que sea el desafío, siempre corre hacia Dios porque Él es la respuesta a todos los asuntos fundamentales de la vida. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. Vous venez d'écouter le merveilleux témoignage de Monsieur Innocent qui est présent ici avec sa fille. Il est venu ici dû à un élargissement de la prostate et donc il utilisait un, un cathéter dû à cela. Il est parti chez les médecins et la solution qu'ils ont pourvue pour son état, c'était de lui insérer un cathéter. Pour lui, c'était très douloureux. Il ne pouvait pas se mouvoir normalement. Il avait même du mal à jouer avec ses petits-enfants. Et, et donc, ils sont venus ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations qu'on peut le voir. Et il a reçu la prière de l'évangéliste au nom de Jésus-Christ. Et il a complètement guéri. Il est reparti chez le médecin de, lui demandant 
d'enlever, de retirer le cathéter. Et comme vous pouvez le voir sur vos écrans, il peut uriner maintenant normalement. Il n'a plus de douleur, il ne saigne plus aussi. Et il dit qu'il est complètement libre, libre de toute peine, de toute maladie. Sa fille à ses côtés rend témoignage de son état avant et après la guérison. Elle rend gloire à Dieu aussi pour le, la guérison de son père. Ils donnent tous les deux le conseil d'accourir à Dieu quel que soit le problème. Téléspectateurs du monde entier, continuez de regarder vos écrans.